you for joining me today for Whitney Sews. I am your host Whitney and this week we will be doing t-shirt reconstruction. Now t-shirt reconstruction is a popular trend where you use unwanted or ill-fitting t-shirts to create something new. Today I will be showing you how to do a simple t-shirt resize and also how to make a circle skirt out of two oversized shirts. The materials needed for today's projects are thread, scissors, tape measure, marking tools for both fabric and paper, newspaper, an iron, a sewing machine, a fitted t-shirt, and a few too big t-shirts. We'll also need some sewing pens for this project. Now to get started, what you need to do is turn your fitted t-shirt and one of your oversized t-shirts wrong sides out, line them up at the shoulder seams, and pen them together. Fold the sleeves back so that they won't be in the way and trace around your fitted t-shirt. I'm choosing to trace directly outside of the t-shirt and then I'm going to add my seam allowance in while I'm cutting. And cut out your shirt. Now you'll want to line up the top and finished edge of the sleeves in order to cut your new sleeves out. Pen them together and trace. You can cut it out and don't forget to add the seam allowance. Once you've marked the center of each sleeve, you can begin to pen them onto your shirt, always putting right sides together. Set your machine on a zigzag stitch and begin sewing your new sleeves to your shirt. Each time you sew a seam, it's a good idea to press the seam down. Your shirt won't be bulky. The next step is to pin and sew along the side seams of the t-shirt. Once you've sewn up the sides of your t-shirt, you're finished. For part two of today's lesson on t-shirt reconstruction, uh, we will be making a circle skirt. And for that, you need to make a pattern. And so you get out those old newspapers. What you need to do is tape a few sheets together and you'll be marking a semicircle on here according to how long your skirt is going to be, which also depends on how large your t-shirts are. My shirt is large enough that I can take a 25 inch square out of the front and the back. In order to make a circle skirt, you need four sections and each one is one quarter of a circle. So I marked 25 inches across each side and I also then marked 25 inches from this corner point. For this skirt, you will need to take your measurement around your waist or where you want the skirt to be worn, which mine is 34, and you'll want to divide that by 6. So that comes out to 5.6, and you want to mark that down the side. and across the top and draw a diagonal in between and cut that area out because that will become the waist of your skirt. And this is what your pattern should look like. Once your pattern is finished, you can pin it onto your t-shirts and Go ahead and cut your pattern out. You can cut the front and back both out at the same time as long as you make sure that you have it lined up really well. And what you want to do is line up the sides, which is not the curved and not the short side, but the actual sides of the pieces. Line them up, pen them, and sew. Once your pieces look like this, you are almost done. All you have to do is make the waistband. Now my waistband, I'm going to make out of these sleeves from the black shirt. Now that I have my sleeves cut out, I'm going to once again put right sides together and sew them up. We're gonna take our skirt bottom and our waistband and as always, right sides together. And it's best to start off 
by matching up the side seams. Okay, and I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and just stitch this on. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for joining me on Whitney Sews and come back next week and we'll be doing some more DIY projects. And don't forget, Whitney Sews and so can you. Thank you.